National Weather Service cameras capture a spectacular dance between the clouds and the snowy mountains of Yosemite National Park. This was the scene yesterday as a winter storm rolled through. Yosemite could see up to a foot of snow by the time it is all over. Mm. Albert's back with us now. We're talking about temperatures in the 50s, but yeah. I guess by average, there's more snow that we should expect right here. Oh, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So we're starting to fall behind average yeah. as we were well above it by several inches the month of January. I haven't picked up any in February and nothing in sight, but we have a little bit of rain and even some thunder to tell you about. That's what happens when you have these spring like temperatures You get a spring like weather pattern, at least for a few days. So a few showers tomorrow mid morning into the afternoon. Some late day storms will possible and a few of those could be on the stronger side. And as Joe mentioned, well above average the next two days, 55 tomorrow, 56 on Friday, still looking to at least tie a record high on Friday. Old record set back 138 years ago and then some cooler air starts to move in this weekend. 40 Saturday, upper 30s as we head into Sunday and next week. Mostly cloudy skies, but we're dry right now on the Doppler radar. The breeze is out of the south that's pulling in some milder air, so it won't be as chilly tonight. Upper 30s and low 40s on the map right now, including 43 at the loop. It's 38 in Aurora and temperatures go down only a handful of degrees between now and morning. But here's the next storm system. You see it spinning out here now in the Plain States headed in our direction on the nose of the low strong winds out of the south tomorrow, gusting to near 40 miles per hour propelling those temperatures in the 50s for tomorrow and we'll also throw these little arms of instability out of the west. So the first one comes in mid morning to the early afternoon. That's two o'clock. Couple of passing showers. No big deal. And then with a little bit more energy in the atmosphere, a few isolated thunderstorms will be possible as we head towards tomorrow evening. That's seven o'clock. These will quickly move off towards the east and will clear the sky and set up for an even warmer Friday with more sunshine. But the window say between about five o'clock and 10 o'clock of a few isolated intense thunderstorms, especially out here towards the west. It'll be the western and northwestern suburbs that have the best opportunity of seeing a thunderstorm produce some winds as high as 45, if not 50 miles per hour, and even a little bit of small hail. Cloud and ground lightning for all of us, though, is going to be something we'll keep an eye on. Once we get rid of that, we look for drier air, more sunshine, 56 degrees, still breezy on Friday. A few 60s possible down here towards the south of I-80, cooler up towards the north with low 50s in Waukegan and McHenry. And then there's the cool air as we head towards your Saturday, 42 a breeze out of the northwest bringing in that cooler air mass that will be with us all of next week. We've got a lot of upper 30s to tell you about. And even though those temperatures come down in a big way as we head towards the weekend compared to the next two days, those are still above average and beyond tomorrow. Our weather patterns dry. There's a check of the extended forecast Ooh. and we're back to reality as we head towards <laughs> Valentine's Day and Mark. beyond with 30s Ooh. in the forecast. No big snow breeze. Though, to tell you about. <laughs> all right, thanks, Albert. Okay.